And here I am back once again um, at the uh, Thompson Dock. And there's the pigeons, the nice. And I'm just going down, descending down. You know, I'm over 60 years old and I have lived in Belfast for the last 40 years or so. And I've never been down here. Isn't that amazing? And here I am on the, uh, the floor of the dock. And apparently it uh, towers about 44 feet up on each side. I'm trying not to bounce about so that the camera doesn't jiggle. And this gives you some idea of the size of the, uh, the Titanic. And there's a series of uh, ballast blocks sitting here and these things, these very blocks were used inside the huge Cassian gate to provide ballast. They would have been physically removed by the dock workers via the small hatch, and there it is, uh, when the gate, the hatch in the gate when the dock needed to be floated out uh, to the outward position. So ballast blocks. And there's the gate itself, the Cassian gate. And I'm on the floor of the dock. This is uh, Robert Adrian. He's a mathematician who found fame in America. I don't know anything about him. What are these? I don't know. Are these what the Titanic sat on? I think they are. I wish somebody would tell me. Ernest Walton, Nobel Peace winning physicist who split the atom. A son of a Methodist minister. Born in County Waterford. There you are, didn't even expect to see that down here. I'm just going for a wee dander, folks. What does it say? Frozen in time. Workers stand proudly beneath their creation, dwarfed by just one of the 38 tonne propellers under the hull. Under the hull. Titanic resting on her keel blocks. These are keel blocks. The daunt a daunting task working under 46,000 tonnes of steel. I wouldn't have fancied that myself, you know. And that's not very far from where I was standing back there. These are, these are um, keel blocks to hold the keel up, presumably. <laughs> oh dear, I'm a wee bit stupid. I'll just get through a hole in the fence here. Oh. Standing in Titanic Dock. Looking down at the Cassian Gate. It uh, certainly gives you some idea of the size. Okay, time for time for home. <laughs>